Hi guys and welcome back to another Stark of Remastered replay cast as once again we have an interesting engagement here from the South Korean ladder. We have spawn here in the upper left part in the brown it is scan and his opponent spawn here in the lower left in the teal is Lily. So very interesting engagement here. Aaron versus Zorg on a four spawning location map. Quite an interesting game here. It, it scan is of course known for his casting abilities and he's also almost made it to the ASL tournament so sadly for him didn't work out there until the final but now he's facing here quite a skilled zerg opponent for him let's see what exactly his strategy is going to be here after we saw flash go for some mech gameplay versus some zergs here onto this channel let's see if this is indeed a new meta for the terrans mech instead of the marines firebats and uh, medics and also let's see the strategy from the Zerg. We don't see any building yet, yet by him. So he might try to save here for a fast expansion very soon. His blood is getting produced. You can see of course the production tab here in the upper left part. And also a lucky scout here for him. As his overload is heading straight towards the base from Scan. And I believe indeed it is going to be a fast expansion build order here for the Zerg. Actually he's still droning up. And there, there is his drone. So of course he's abusing the fact that it is a four spawning location map. And heads straight towards a hatchery. No spawning pool, no gas. Just some drones, an overlord. And yes, things look actually very good. It's only now Scan is moving out with his SCV. And it could be also very good scout by him. And Scan could actually punish here the last expansion attempt by the Zerg. We also see him move out with another drone. So this is of course a drone that could be kept here into the lower right part into expanding there. Let's see if the Zerg is deciding to hide it, but no, it's actually moving back. So SCV is making his way towards the base, sees the late spawning pool, sees the late gas. So of course the expansion, in comes the drone from a scouting mission. And I believe indeed of course the Zerg will try to snap this SCV as fast as he can in order to go for his tier 2 upgrade. As many Zergs really like to go for tier 2 into Mutalisk versus the Terran. In the meantime, we have only two supply depots here for a scan. Of course, he saw the fast expansion move, so he's immediately reacting with his expansion also here around the 2 minute and 40 second mark. As the CV is still pretty much alive, and now tier 2 has started for the Zerg. So, very soon, it's going to be either a transition into some Mutalisk. Or some lurkers here for the zerg scan the scv here from scan sees everything as mining has also started here for the zerg but like i told you a drone could be taken here away from the zerg and just placed here into the lower right part of the map in order to um, <coughs> hide another expansion here from the zerg i believe the zerg is pretty much going to going all in here with some mutalisk first zerglings should be produced very soon by him. Speed is getting upgraded here for the Zergling. I believe the Zerg allows now the SCV here to stay. And tier 2 is going to finish very, very soon. So the SCV will give important information towards the Terran, towards Scan. As Scan goes into a second barrack. So we might see an all bio build order here for Scan. As his expansion is also going to be finished very soon. First Marines are out. The SCV is now <coughs> pulling back. Oh, actually he decides to come back so fake pull back as the first zerglings are out so he might get the lucky surround speed will be finished very soon so the scv is going to be taken out the zerg tries to block it with a drone and there is the spire i believe it should be a spire yeah so lucky move out here by scan faking the uh, retreat with the scv but in the end coming back just to see the spire here by the zerg so indeed it is going to be mass mutilist by him as he's also moving out with the drone and adding another expansion at the 4 meter and 30 second mark. So yes, Scan pretty much knows what exactly is coming towards him very soon. He will react with a engineering bay. He will also react with some turrets in order to have some defenses. And he's also going for Stim. So Stim first for him. Some medics are also getting produced. First Zerglings are here, but yeah, there's so, so many Marines for Scan. So he should be able to hold this, even some medics are here. 
to give cover. Interesting enough, scan not going for this level one upgrade. Weapons upgrade. And now he's actually leaving the door open here, so quite interesting move. He might lose a SCV or two. The fire bats are coming in. Nice micro here by him, but in the end, two SCVs still make it here out alive. As scan really wanting to punish the expansion point for the Zerg, but there are two sunken here. And I believe this one is this one Zerling will be cleared very soon, but he also took out a SCV. So scan losing two SCVs. Mutilis will be ready very soon. As now weapons one upgrade is being started. And the scan is now moving back, expecting of course an attack very soon by the mutilisk. Let's see. Yeah, there are so very soon Lilith will regroup them and let's see where exactly is going to attack. There's one turret here, a second one is getting produced. Some marines are also here to give good cover, to give good defenses towards those SCVs. And yeah, five mutilisk indeed for the Zerg, but a um, bigger number is needed or actually for him. Might be lucky to snipe a SCV or two. But yeah, three turrets already. Let's just see the main one turret towards the production tab. And one turret here. Second one is also getting produced. So it's going to be really, really hard for those mutilists to move forward and to deal damage. Let's see if Lilith is going to be successful as we close in towards the 10 minute mark. In comes the attack. One SCV is getting sniped. Second SCV is also falling here. <coughs> but yeah, the turrets will in the end and this attack of the marines who are also here in position level uh, level one weapons is also getting finished very really, very really soon so it could be a move out very soon by scan towards the expansion point from the zerg in order to also force those mutilists to stay back into defending check the main from the zerg still some mutilists are getting produced no other buildings yet for him just going mass into mutilists and scan might try to move out very soon like I told you, towards the expansion position here from the Zerg. His marine count is very, very high. He's was going to reach the expansion as soon as his weapons one is getting uh, completed. Range will also be done very soon. Steam has also been done. And yeah, good targeting here for both players. Scan has to, of course, hold his ground. And nice micro here by Lilith. And still keeps all of those mutilisk alive. One of very, very hurt. But in the end, the numbers are very, very strong here for the Zerg. So if he's continuing to nicely microing those mutilisk, he might be successful into sniping more and more of the units from Scan. So Scan needs to be careful in order not to take more damage here from the Zerg. As yet, the Zerg is pretty much just patrolling the map now, expecting, of course, an attack into the expansion point right here. He might even try to react with some Sunkans. As there is indeed movement and the Zerg tries to get of course a good flank, nicely intercepting those reinforcements and every Marine counts of course a lot. So Scan taking some damage but he decided to move out in order to punish the expansions here from the Zerg. Let's see how many barracks he has at home. Four currently the force is getting produced. There is even a factory so we might see some vultures. Let's see he's actually going to some starports so some science vessels be an answer here from scan versus all of those mutilisk we could even see a casual brace or two let's see if this is indeed the tactic here from scan as once again he's losing marine after marine so Lilith with a very nice mutilisk micro here keeps on sniping unit after unit here from scan as we close towards the 10 minute mark into this game so yeah, Lilith nicely defending those expansion. We even have a headless uh, then. So we could see a transition later on into some lurkers. And yeah, the mutilists are now finally getting surrounded, but taking quite some damage. At the same time, they're also snapping marine after marine. And still the mutilist number is very, very high. Scan sadly losing more and more of his units. Eight mutilists are being left. Of course, some mutilists have fallen. But in the end, good damage has been done here against the bio from Scan as reinforcements are pouring in from all of those barracks. We also see the two Stargates very soon. The science vessels should of course be added. There's the science facility. As the still game still continues here, Lily still sniping unit after unit, but of course the numbers will add up here for scan. The upgrades have also started for the infantry armor. Let's have a look at the upgrades here for the Zerg. Only one weapons upgrade. 
as Scan once again is moving out. This time, very, very large army by him. He's having good patrolling here towards his expansion point. Literally expecting, of course, an attack. Even adding those Sunkers, even having a Lurker here. So looking very, very strong into defending the expansion point. He might even take this expansion right here. As Scan still waiting, perhaps, for his science vessels. Irradiate is getting researched. And the Irradiator is going to be a very good spell to have against all of those mutilisks, even against the lurkers of course, so yeah, Lily just patrolling the map, just trying to find the reinforcements here from Scan, as even one bunker has been added, and now Lily being more confident, flying now over towards the production buildings, sniping one SCV and one Marine, it's a pretty good job by him, forcing of course Scan to stay home, and yet nicely abusing the fact that mutilisks are very very fast air units and yeah scan still playing very very defensively here he might try to add a tank or two and he might try to move out around at this minute mark just to attack the expansion point science vessel of course not that much energy for them reinforcements are pouring in i believe this time scan is pretty much going to commit so the zerg knows of course the timing as he is now moving out having those lurkers nicely hidden here beyond the overload and yeah let's see what scan is going to be able to do against the lurkers we actually have three lurkers and is scan going to commit here or is he going to try to attack into another base if you also scanned this area right here there's even zerlings here mutilis are also waiting here we even have a defile amount and yeah very soon we're going to be seeing more and more of the advanced units here from the zerg as scan is moving forward nicely irradiating this one mutilisk i believe he's going to try to pretty much commit here forward into this ledge right here and there's not that many lurkers actually three lurkers are being clumped up together here so nice job by the zerg we even have some scourges in the air against the science vessels it's going to be very very hard here for scan to attack the mutilisk are also moving out perhaps trying to force a pullback by scan we do have two dropship so this could be very nice here for scan could just overfly those sunkers and just land here into this location let's see if this is indeed his plans the dropships are moving out they are actually loaded with some marines and there are no lurkers here in the back <coughs> you could see a drop happening very soon there are some scourges here so scan has to hurry up one dropship has been sniped second one now finally will be able to unload and deal some damage towards the economy same time we also see scan knocking here at the entrance just to be careful with these two science vessels and some economic damage has been done some drones have fallen the zerg not paying attention no orange stone here by him fake has been casted actually and yeah really he was just busy microing his units right here so interesting move here even one marine is still left alive and the zerg sadly dropping to 36 workers those two scourges might get a good connection here against this one dropship yeah, scan just rolling still the area here and in the meantime the zerg is pretty much expanding into this location and yeah let's see what the next moves are going to be a good map control here by scan as he's moving out still with the same numbers more and more science vessels has been added so this is his tactic marines with science vessels the science vessel will of course take care of the lurkers and the marines will of course take care of the rest of the units here from the Zerg, a great plague has been casted, Marines have to be pulled back. Let's see what Scan is going to be doing here with his science vessel as he's moving forward towards the expansion point. So very good control here by Scan, nicely microing those units out of danger, having so so many Marines, massive amounts of Marines actually want to do upgrades. And yeah, he's just now going to irradiate I believe the important units here from the Zerg. The Zerg just keeps on taking more and more damage, so let's see what the next steps are going to be. Is Scan indeed going to try to move you forward? What to find out is he's still going to be able to snap one defiler after the other, and the Zerg sadly not paying here attention, really wanting to kill those science vessels, but luckily here for the turn, he had those Marines on the low ground and was able to take them out. So yeah, Scourge is forward defending against the science vessel. As Scan looking like he's going to change his tactics, going to move towards this location right here, abandoning the expansion point here, 
and pretty much regrouping with his units, adding now some fire bats against the lurkers on the ground. And very soon, we might see a full on engagement here. Some scourges get some good connections against the science vessels. <laughs> As it looks like Scan is pretty much going to commit here forward with his bio against the expansion point from the Zerg. Clumping up his units together, but of course the Zerg will react immediately with some plague. And yeah, the medics have to heal the units up. In the meantime, he's also searching the area from some other units here from the Zerg, some other expansions. And yeah, I, mean, he, I believe he's going to try to secure this expansion point right here. Still making up his mind. Scan still not decides here where exactly he's going to attack. And in the meantime, we might see yet another expansion go out here for the Zerg. So the Zerg tries, of course, to inflict some damage. But Irradiate is very, very strong here for Scan. So Scan still patrolling here the expansion points from the Zerg. Where exactly is going to his chase? Just pretty much scanning and then just reacting with some Irradiate versus the units. Even irradiating the Scourge right here. Quite interesting stuff for him. And let's see, hold on, hold on. All of a sudden we have a huge drop here with four dropships even catching me off course. So nice, nice move by Scan all of a sudden with a massive drop happening here into this place. There is a defiler, there's a nice plague has been added, but there's so so many movies. One lurker is still alive, but Scan is out there. And with that, this could be the winning move actually here by Scan, so quite a surprise move by him, even catching me off guard. Where exactly those dropships came from, the drones have to fight now. So great move here by Scan, actually showing us the importance of the dropships in the end of the game, in the late game. There's still one lurker being left alive, but the marines are doing a great job. And in the meantime, we also have an attack here. Some ultra risk will, however, now come out from the Zerg, but massive amounts of irradiate have been casted here. And there's yet another dropship happening here. So Scan showing us the importance of the dropships into the late game. And with that, he's able to secure his win right here. Even having those fire bats, of course, a good idea against the ultra risk. But in the end, of course, the winning move happened right here into this location with the dropships appearing out of nowhere, catching me of course, so quite a nice job here by Scan in the end, he had 3 bases, 44 workers almost being maxed out, and of course, having mass by, let's check his upgrades, 2 to 3 upgrades, so it's very important of course to have those upgrades up, unless it won't give you the victory, let's just check the stats very quickly, as once again I'm going to be clicking left and right, we have actually lived in the first place here with nice APM here by him. And I believe the killed structures, actually the killed units, Lilith losing quite some large amount of units here. So scan with a very nice game. And we also see the other statistics here as I'm going to be clicking left and right. So scan with a nice move, those dropships at the end of the game, winning move by him. Catching everyone, of course, even me, and in the end, this has, of course, secured him his win. There was an Idus connection into the second expansion, but it was, of course, a little bit too late. A scan and double attacked and of course, secured his win. Nice game here by him. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be seeing you, of course, in the next replays. This is Tommy, signing out.